I drive by and it's such a powerful feeling knowing that so much of my inspiration started here in the Black Hills, the heart of everything that is to, to the Lakota people, right here on the track at the School of Mines and uh, took me around the world. I didn't really know the concept of competition, but I loved activity. Okay. Uh, I would bike with my friends 15 miles one way to the swimming hole, pump up the, 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 the tube, and we'd push it, we'd swim across Oglala. It had to be to us, it was like a half a mile. And we'd play in the cherry trees, and some plum trees. We'd play Tarzan, and we might fish. We'd come back. So we was, I was getting in 30 miles of biking, a mile of swimming, and then playing in the trees just as a form of activity. I had no idea that I was developing the cardiovascular conditioning for running. Uh, my first sport was, was boxing. Oh. I had six fights in the ring. <laughs> Zero wins, six losses. <laughs> and they'd take us out outside of town five miles and drop us off and we'd have to run back. And I'm just this little 12, 13 year old. 5'2", 104 pounds but I could beat the heavyweights. And they would get upset when I'd go by them. So I'd tuck under the fence and run in the, in the grass and go past the heavyweights. And I'd finish first, having no idea about competition until my first race here on this track. And uh, a few months, or six weeks, after my father died, there was a track meet in the Black Hills, the heart of everything that is, the School of Mines. Uh, do you want to go? So I came up in a bus and uh, didn't know what to wear. But my dad bought me some summer clothes. So to me, it was a brand new white t-shirt, which he purchased at a rummage sale. <laughs> <laughs> and I wore a pair of high top tennis shoes, maybe a size too big and an old pair of Levi's but but the white brand new my brand new white t-shirt offsend it the worn out Levi's and the, the tennis shoes and we lined up I think right behind me here and all my competitors had on track spikes the regular track uniform the shorts the singlets and I'm thinking I, I look a little different. <laughs> <laughs> the gun goes off. Immediately I'm in last place, 400 meters. And I'm trying as hard as I can go. And that acceleration, did you say that attempt, it was, it was inspiring for me. It was almost like on a spiritual realm what I felt competing against myself, reaching within the depths of my capabilities to the greatest extent I'm capable of. I, it felt sacred. It didn't matter that they were ahead of me. I was in last place, far behind. And I finished, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wanted to continue running. And uh, I did not look upon it as this failure. It, I competed to the greatest extent I was capable of. And on that day, I was a winner. The feeling, getting last place, the feeling, winning the gold medal. They were both inspiring. They were both spiritual. And uh, it was meant to be. So I would like in some way not to be remembered as a gold medalist, but as a person taking the Lakota prayer that we are all related, sitting here on the foot, footsteps of the heart of everything that is uh, wanted to unite and the students graduating today college high school junior high that group of our students our young people will choreograph the horizon of America's future this is a great day for a race <laughs>